All right, so this is what's known as a super spreader event. Look at all these individuals in tight uh, proximity, not wearing any mask whatsoever. This is Georgia. Every place where Georgia, where where Trump did rallies, are super spreader events with massive, massive spikes. We're talking about thirty to fifty percent infection rates, and here we are, again, doing another one. Um, and these are a lot of these people are Walking Dead. They just don't know it. They're in ignorance. There's, you know, and you have to look at, uh, you know, the old, old lady there, and there are people infected here. And here's from Iceland. What people don't realize. Um, doctor was uh, D Zap or D D Zaw dog or whatever that the he's a kind of a he was on the Corona Task Force I believe at one point. Um, he was sharing data on the Iceland um, research. Here's a fat lady. Yep, yep, just not wearing a mask down. Her mask on. Look, I got my mask on, but I had my mask on, mom, and I died. Are right, you another obese person? These are obese, obese, right? Old lady up there. Um, they found that 40% of people are asymptomatic. 40%. So these young guys like this guy over here, these young girls like this here. There's an old lady right there. Oh, I got coronavirus. Thanks for giving me the coronavirus. Um, it's sad. Another obese woman there. Old lady there. Obese there. Old bl oh, black lady there. Obese, 25%. A greater chance of dying. She's dancing to her funeral. That's what's going on here. And uh, all these look, these uh, you know, special service guys trying to wear masks, trying to social. This is hard. All this is just corona-filled air, right? Old lady, right there. And I wonder how many of these people are going to be dead in a month, right? And they don't. They don't care. And he's pulling this grift on them. He's raised $200 million, which 70% of it is not even going towards fighting for his election. He's paying off his bills, launching his media empire. So he's grifting all these ignoramuses. There's a little old lady there smiling away, not even thinking about the coronavirus, which is in, in, in the atmosphere right around her. Nothing, another black lady, not even thinking about the coronavirus. All right now, caught up in the hype of a moment, kind of like teenagers at their first um, boy band, right? And that's what, you know, Trump needs to see this. He feeds on this. He's a sociopath who feeds on this uh, adulation, all this, on this love directed at him. And, uh, you know, um, he's just a piece of shit. And to think that all these individuals are going to be going to their deathbed. And, you know, not all, some of them, I would say all, a few of them. Um, and uh, if you consider 40% of potential attendees, so you got to look at how many are in there, right? Say so a couple hundred. Let's say there's only a hundred, you know, let's say a thousand. A thousand. Let's do a hundred, then I can add a zero, it could be easier. So a hundred there, okay. There, let's say there is a 50%, okay, 25%. So 50% would be 50. So 25 individuals here are infected. Okay, that's 25%. And then of those, those 25, 40% are asymptomatic. So that's, let's say, 50 to 12 and a half. So about 9 or 10 are asymptomatic, right? In 100. So let's make that 1,000. That, that's that's 90 to 100 are asymptomatic. 90 to 100 individuals at this rally are asymptomatic, which means they show no temperature, no sign of infection. Um, they may not even show if they took a test that they have it. And how do we know this? Well, because um, Iceland has basically scienced the crap out of the coronavirus. And they're a nationalized uh, insurance, um, and they have basically been tracing and following the genetic lines of different ones. Oh, she's got her mask back on. Oh, she's finally come. A, she's finally come aware. She says, "Oh my God, I should probably be wearing my, wearing my thing." Well, it's too late. You've already breathed it in. You know, she's starting to think, "Oh, maybe I should. Maybe this ain't such a bad idea." The black woman in the back there. Maybe it's another black woman over there with the sunglasses on the right hand side. You know. Um, he, you know, so they have researched and science the shit out of coronavirus um, more than any other 
uh, state. They only have like 350,000 people, and they've tracked it, and they can track the whole, you know, um, different lines. So, oh yeah, give me some scooty later. Okay, oh, thanks. Okay, get your ass over here now. You've done your 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 doll thing. I sit down. Now you leave. Yeah, let me unbutton my jacket. I'm just the retard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at these people. I'm grifting out of millions. I'm grifting out of them. They're so dumb. They're giving me your money, and they're believing my fake. Oh, I gotta go that way. Okay. I gotta go that way. I'm oh, sorry. There. So. He sent her the wrong way. <laughs> That's too funny. Anyway, it's pretty sad. We're not going to cover it. But just it's just sad. I look at these people and I think, oh, gosh. I guess, you know, oh, here's something you should talk about. The average cost of a person going to hospitalization is $75,000. The average cost, $75,000. And you say, well, I have insurance. Well, think of the impact that has on our on the insurance companies who are all having to pay out $75,000 a person. That's causing them massive losses if they are insured. Or think if you don't have insurance, you're paying $75,000, you know, that's a home. That's half your home for most, most of the individuals. Uh, you know, what do you do when you can't work because you are laid up sick, where you can't work because you are a carrier infected? Um, and to think that people are still continuing doing this nonsense you know, coming out and putting themselves at risk is pretty sad. So, yeah, another super spreader event.